And we are getting our first look at the charter employee killed during that shooting spree in Spartanburg yesterday. The family of Perry McIntyre shared this photo with us. His daughter tells us he was loved by his family and friends, but above all, he loved Jesus. And this is who deputies say was responsible for that shooting. This is Shannon Earl Smith, and this is actually a mugshot from a previous arrest. Now we brought you complete coverage from that scene yesterday live right here on air as it unfolded behind Cleveland Park on Amelia Street and Fox Carolina's Carrie Weimer was out there with that live coverage for us yesterday. We have her back out there live today and uh, Carrie really a full circle moment uh, learning more of these details and to actually see uh, the person who was killed um, really it, it hits you hard. It really does. And you know, being back out here today, you can still feel the tension in the air from yesterday. It was a long day for people that live here. Obviously, everyone involved, law enforcement, they're still out here again today. People are actually at the house here behind me working on things. But I want to show you how close in proximity everything happened out here. Right over my shoulder on this side is where Cleveland Park butts up to this area right by Amelia Street. This tree line right here, about three trees down, is where the water utility workers were working with the group there when officials say the suspect came up and shot two of them. From that spot right there, he ran over to this house, which is his home. You can see the bullet holes in the walls. Of course, they're doing work covering up the windows, so there's some that you can't see, but we've got video footage, so you'll see that in just a moment. This is where everything ended here, tragically, yesterday. I heard this boom, boom, boom sound. I thought, what is that? And so then it went off again. Linda Ascari describes the sound she heard from outside her home yesterday afternoon. And I come out, I saw police is everywhere. Investigators say 45-year-old Shannon Earl Smith shot two Spartanburg water employees working inside Cleveland Park before retreating inside his home on nearby Amelia Street. During that time, officials say 49-year-old Perry James McIntyre, a Charter Spectrum employee who was working at the home, was shot and killed. It reminded me as I watched my grandkids play the video games, and you see the, the sharpshooters running and hiding and, and everything. Multiple agencies, including SWAT, responded, and during the standoff with the suspect, officials say a woman who was also inside the home and a Spartanburg County deputy were also shot. Both of them expected to be okay. They came into the backyard to get a better view of this house. The Greenville County Sheriff's Office, who is taking the lead in the investigation as an uninvolved party, tells us the suspect, 45-year-old Shannon Earl Smith, was shot and taken to Spartanburg Regional, where he was pronounced dead. They laid down and they did what they had to do. We reached out to Charter Spectrum to find out more about Perry McIntyre, the innocent victim who was killed while working at the home. They released a statement saying McIntyre was one of their Spartanburg-based field technicians. He was an expert at his craft and was with the company for nine years. It was unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. Now, just moments ago, we spoke again with Sheriff Chuck Wright to get an update on how his deputy's doing and also where things are at in the investigation. Of course, like I mentioned, Greenville is taking the lead, but he gave us some information that we'll share with you later on in our shows. Tori? Yeah, we look forward to learning about that. Carrie, thank you for that live.